What's up, guys? My name's Ariana, and today I am watching for the first time Interstellar. Let's get into it. Well, my name is Farmer. I'm like everybody else back then. Hmm. Of course, he didn't start that way. Oh my gosh, that's so loud. <laughs> like in the best way. Shutting it down, Cooper. Oh crap. Honey, blow up! What? Dad? Oh no. Is that like a nightmare? Sorry. Go back to bed, man. Oh. Pat, you're the ghost. Grandpa says you can get ghosts. Well, maybe that's because Grandpa's a little too close to being one himself. <laughs> Terrible. Hit your butt back in bed, Marv. Okay, so definitely some flashbacks. Oh, that's so pretty. It's a great shot. No such thing as a ghost, dumbass. Hey. I looked it up. Hey. It's called a poltergeist. Yeah, <laughs> uh, tell her. Science is about admitting what we don't know. She's got oh. you there. And present your conclusions. Neil? Yeah. Nelson's torching his whole crop. Oh, man. Right? Saying it's the last harvest for okra. Ever. Oh, so this is like, so this is like right before things kind of really hit the fan. I've been working on it, like you said, in case the ghost is trying to communicate. I'm trying Morse. Dots and dashes used. I don't know what Morse code is, but I just don't think your bookshelf's trying to talk to you. That's like the, the world famous Yankees. This is New York. Whoa. So is it like a bad dirt, like almost like a sandstorm, like a dirt Let's storm? Uh, gang, let's mask up. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Holy cow. Tom, you guys shut your windows? Wow. The ghost. Oh, wow. Hello. That's crazy. That is so insane. That's like kind of how I imagine, like I know in like a couple of the Laurel, Laura Ingalls Wilder books that you talk about when they're on the planes and like the dust storms and stuff and that's like I feel like an extreme version of those things and that always seemed terrible to me in the first place so to watch it to go get to that magnitude is insanity it's not a ghost it's gravity coordinates Nope. What? Oh my god, the premise of this is so freaking cool! Grandpa will be home in a while. Tell him I'll call him on the radio. Hey! Ah. What's he doing? <laughs> oh, you think this is funny? Huh? <laughs> you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. Not wrong. It's a gr oh, such a pretty shot, too, with the dust and the dirt, even though dirt is bad in this scenario, obviously. I don't know, why is my heart beating so fast right now? I feel like almost stressed. I think this is the end of the road. Didn't you bring the bolt cutters? <laughs> That's my <fine>, girl. Step <laughs> <laughs> away no, from no, the no, fence! No. Don't shoot, don't shoot. You're not armed. Your daughter's in the car. Don't be afraid! Oh, it's no. What? I like, can't How did you find this place. You had the coordinates for this facility marked on your map. Where did you get those coordinates? Where's my daughter? Don't make me take you down again. Sit down. Do you still think you're a Marine, pal? Marines don't exist anymore. Who are you? Dr. Brand. And I knew Dr. Brand once. He was a professor. What makes you think I'm not? <laughs> well, it's near as cute either. Daughter is fine. Great kid. Must have a very smart mother. I don't know anything about you. I don't know anything about this place. Yes, you do. What? 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 Dad! We're 
NASA. Hmm. NASA. I need to, like, unclench my jaw. I'm just like... Now you need to tell me what your plan is to save the world. We're not meant to save the world. We're meant to leave it. Rangers, I can't tell you any more unless you agree to pilot this craft. You're the best pilot we ever had. Whoa, this this is crazy. team never left the simulator. We need a pilot, and this is the mission that you were trained for. But something sent you here. Ain't that the truth? Or who's they? Oh, yeah. Who is they? I've got kids, Professor. Get out there and save them. Woof. Why is this? I'm getting emotional already. A disturbance of space time. At a wormhole. It appeared 48 years ago. And it leads where? Another galaxy. Oh my god! The wormhole's not a naturally occurring phenomenon. Someone placed it there. Find us a new home. And by the time you return, I will have solved the problem of gravity. I give you my word. Oh, that's a big promise. It's like... Woof. Tom will be all right, but you got to make things right with Murph. I will. Without making promises you don't know you can keep. That is a big part of it. And obviously she's already lost one parent. Definitely don't want to lose another one. You have to talk to me, Murph. Once you're a parent, you're the ghost of your children's future. He's a ghost and exist. Oh. Stay. It says stay, Dad. Why? You're not listening. It says stay. No, oh, I'm coming back. When? By the time I get back, we hope we might even be the same age. You and me. What? Imagine that. That would. That is not a positive thing to say to a kid. You have no idea when you're coming back. Yeah. Oh. No idea. Oh. oh! Don't, don't mind. Don't make me leave like this. Come on, Murph. Don't make me leave like this, Murph. I love you. That would forever. be so hard. I love you forever. Ugh. I'm coming back. That's like, to even be able to like grasp that concept is just like so. Ooh. Dang. Oh, this is not what I expected at all. I don't really know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Go for our main engine start. T minus 10. Yeah. Nine. Bait. Oh my god! Six. One. Booster ignition and. Oh god. All engines look good. Beginning roll program. <laughs> it's hard leaving everything. My kids. Your father. We're going to be spending a lot of time together. We should learn to talk. Emma, not to. Hmm. Just being honest. I don't think you need to be that honest. It's all you, Doyle. Oh, he's like sweating. Oh, man. Okay. Lock? Target locked. Target locked. Well done. Oh. Okay, how much time? Why am I so stressed? <laughs> Music was definitely putting you in the mood to be like intense to make it stressful. Uh. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. <sighs> Sorry, space really excites me. Desperate for a rock it can cling to while it catches its breath. Oh my gosh. Find that rock. Just, like, go in and then get frozen. The prospects ah! are at the edge of what might sustain human life. This crew represents the best of humanity. Even me, you know? 
You know what? We agreed 90%. <laughs> Stay up. Stay That's funny. Oh, just remember, Coop, you are literally wasting your breath. Dr. Brand and Edmonds. They close? I wouldn't know. There's a 90% wouldn't know or 10% wouldn't know. I also have a discretion setting, Cooper. <laughs> Not she, <laughs> I love that. He's interested. Fun. I'm sorry, Coop. I asked Murph to say hi, but she's as stubborn as her old man. Mm. I'll try again next time. Oh man, I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> yeah, I know. This gets to me, Cooper. This millimeters of aluminum. That's it, and then nothing out there for millions. Oh of my months. gosh! Won't kill us in seconds. You get crazy existential out there that would absolutely make you insane i could not ugh. the brain cannot comprehend at least my brain can't comprehend the magnitude of space the what ifs are too large so we got a pretty good idea what we're gonna find on the other side huh navigationally oh my like my breath feels tight in my chest like there, that's, that, that's it. That's the wormhole. You say it don't spread her, huh? <laughs> it's a sphere. Of course it is what you said. You thought it would just be a hole. <laughs> no, it's just that all the illustrations I've ever seen, they... The illustrations? Let me show you how it works. Oh, this is exciting. They say you want to go from here... Explain wormholes to me, to please. So a wormhole bends space like this, so you can take a shortcut through a higher dimension. What's a circle in three dimensions? Sphere. Exactly. Spherical hole. But who put it there? Oh my God. Well, I am yeah, like. One piece, you know. <laughs> this is, I did not know what I. I oh, oh. Sorry. I just like the concept of all door. of this is just like insanity. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so cool. The others made it, right? Oh my gosh. Some of them. At least some of them. Oh my gosh. I love this. It looks awesome. I used to have a pair of Galaxy Vans and they were my favorite ever. I beat them to, they were so gross by the end of it and I had to throw them away. But like they had like basically that design. They were so rad. Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? Oh. Let's... Here we go. Ah, to our galaxy. That's crazy. Also, the technology or what it would take to create a wormhole. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. This is so well done and cool. What is that? Don't. Don't. What? What? Oh my gosh. Where's Handshake? We're here. But where is here? Like, what galaxy are we in? So the lost communications came <gasps> through. But Miller still looks good, though, right? With one complication. Oh, how bad? Well, every hour we spend on that planet will be seven years back on. Oh, wow. That's relativity, folks. Okay, plan A does not work if the people on Earth are dead by the time we pull it off. No, it doesn't. That's why there's a plan B. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Cooper's right. We need to think about time as a resource, just like oxygen and food going down there's going to cost us. What if we, we take a wider orbit around Gargantua, parallel with Miller's planet, outside of this time shift to here? We're in, we're out, we lose a little fuel, but we save a lot of time. That'll work. <sighs> this feels very, is, this case? obviously yep. is very high stakes, but I'm just like, I don't say much oh, I feel Forest trapped. Plenty for both of us. Detached. We could just see the collapsed star inside. Singularity. Hang on. Brand oil. Oh my goodness. I got this. Oh my gosh. Should I really, 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 now? really don't want his cockiness to cause them to get stuck here. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Just water. Ooh, can't breathe. Fire! Whew. Oh man. Okay. Thank God. Very graceful. No. Efficient. Seven years per hour here. Let's make it count. It's just all water. What? So it's not like About super meters. deep. Oh, this is like trippy. It was like really messing with my eyeballs. Oh, it's punishing. Nothing here. Should be right here. Oh, did it flood? It was. Oh. <gasps> oh wow. Where's the rest? Where's the mountains? Those are mountains. Yeah, that's what I thought. It looks like a big <laughs> ass tsunami. Uh, that one's moving away from us. Oh my god. Brand Doyle, back to the ranger now. We're not leaving without her data. Get your ass back to the ranger now. Girlfriend, I'm sorry, but at this point you get back here now. Please, go get her. Oh my god, 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 Go, 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 go. Come on. Oh my god. Get to the hatch. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so stressed. Go, go. Oh my gosh. God damn it! I told you to leave me. And I told you! To Why get your you ass me? back here! Trying to do the right thing! Can you tell that to Doyle? What's this gonna cost us, Brain? A lot. Decades. What happened to Miller? Judging by the wreckage she was on this planet's time, she just landed hours ago. She... She probably just died minutes ago. And now we're stuck here. Oh, my goodness. What anyone left on earth to say? Oh, shoot. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God, it is so... I've waited years. By now, it must be... It's 23 years. <gasps> four months, eight days. Is he alive? Oh, yeah. Do you? Yeah. Oh, my oh, God. God. Here's a message is stored. Ah. Uh, messages span 23 years. Oh, my God. That's insane. Yeah, right in front of the gang. Oh, I can't. Oh, I have chills. Hey, Dad. Oh. I, uh, I don't really think this is the one. Name's Lois. Start right there. Murphy stole Grandpa's car. Oh. Did your grandpa? Oh my God. Chesty. Oh, see, bye, bye, Grandpa. Bye, bye, Grandpa. Okay. Oh my God. Well, oh, well. Grandpa died last week. We buried him out in the back forty next to Mom and Jesse. If you aren't listening to this, I know that. Oh. Lois says that uh, I have to uh, let you go. So. Uh. I guess. Let you go. Uh. I don't know wherever you are, Dad. Uh, oh my god. Hey, Dad. I never made one of these when you were still responding because I was so mad at you for leaving. Feeling like I should live with that decision, and I have. But the 
today is my birthday. You once told me that when you came back, we might be the same age. And today I'm the age you were when you left. <laughs> this might be a real good time for you to come back. Oh my god. I didn't mean to intrude. It's just that I've never seen you in here before. I've never been in here before. <laughs> just had something I needed to get out. Oh, God. I know they still out. What I'm more afraid of is <laughs> um, never coming back or coming back to find we've failed. Then let's succeed hundreds of times. Oh, God. Only I gotta pause it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I could not get it back together right now. That just like really, oh, that messed me up. That brief miscalculation. And then his line about like, I don't know what's worse if they don't come back or they come back to find out we failed. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. We no longer have the fuel to visit both prospects. So we have to choose. Oh. Yeah, Edmund's letter is better, but Dr. Mann is the one still transmitting. I really believe Edmund's is the better prospect. Why? Gargantua. That's why. We should vote. Well, there's... if we're going to vote, there's something you should know. That has nothing to do with it. What does? She's in love with Wolf Edmonds. Is that true? Yes. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Maybe we should trust that, even if we can't understand it yet. All right, Cooper. Oh, this is hard. Yes. That doesn't mean I'm wrong. Honestly, it may. It, it might. Cars, chart a course for Dr. Mand. We were trying to reach you. Also, toe for grace, what? I don't know where. You had it. Hey, one of those. One of those years. Forgive me, but. There's nothing to forgive. I'm not. I'm not. There was no need for you to come back. But Penny, all this, all these people, the equation, <sighs> did my father know? Oh. Did he leave me? You no. Dr. Brand, I'm sorry to tell you that your father died today. He had no pain. He was at peace. I'm very sorry for your loss. Oh, my God. Oh. Brian, did you know? He told you, right? This was all a sham. Oh. He left us here. To starve. Oh, my God. Oh. This is a movie that just keeps giving menti bees. <laughs> oh crap. Oh, it's literally just like an ice. Oh. Wow. Yeah, cause like, what are you growing on that? Like. Freaking Matt Damon. I didn't even know who these people were in this movie. <laughs> you 
You have literally raised me from the dead. Lazarus. Dr. Brand, Case is relaying a message for you from his home station. Okay, be right there. He wrote. Brand, did you know? He told you, right? This was all a sham. He left us here. To starve. Oh, it doesn't hurt any harder. I mean, any less. <laughs> No. My father dedicated his whole life to plan A. I have no idea what she's talking about. I do. Well, he, he never even helped to get the people off the air. No. Why keep building those stations? Because he, he knew how hard it would be to get people to work together to save the species instead of themselves. Oh, God. But that empathy rarely extends beyond our line of sight. But the lie. That makes sense. He was prepared to destroy his own humanity. Oh, God. In order to save the species, he made an incredible sacrifice. No. No, the incredible sacrifice is being made by the people on Earth who are going to die. He declared their case hopeless. Sorry, Cooper. There oh, really is a listen. No. No. Cars! 32 hours, yeah? Roger that, Cooper. Brand told me why you feel you have to go back. Hey, even without a family, I can promise you that that yearning to be with other people is powerful. Take you for a mm. A father. What does research tell us? Is the last thing you're gonna see before you die. Your mind's gonna push a little bit harder to survive. For them. Ugh. Professor, I am having trouble completing the Buddha. I don't understand. I never really considered the possibility that my planet wasn't the one. <gasps> oh! He's a... What the Keep flying it. F? What are you doing? I'm sorry! Once the others realize what this place isn't, we cannot survive here. I'm sorry. No! I knew that if I just pressed that button, then somebody would come and save me. Hey, fucking cowards. Yes. This is ridiculous. I like. I'm so bad right now. Stop it! No. Oh! No. Wow! There's a 50-50 chance you're gonna kill yourself! Those are the best thoughts I've had in years. Oh. Don't judge me, Cooper. You were never tested like I was. Because I'm gonna save all of us. For you, Cooper. I can't watch you go through this. I'm sorry. I thought I could. Do you see your children? Oh my god. That is so messed up. They're right there with you. Oof. Do not go gentle. Oh my god. Bird! Help! Help! Cooper! Ah, oh, oof. This data makes no sense. Stop back, Please don't Stop break. Back. Mm -hmm. Robert. Robert. Oh my god. I did not anticipate this at all. <laughs> oh. Well, if he takes control of that ship, we're dead. He doesn't know the endurance docking procedure. Well, the autopilot does. Not since Taurus disabled it. Huh? What's your trust setting, Taurus? Lower than yours, apparently. Do not attempt docking. Please respond. I just like don't understand why they couldn't like just work together at this point. <laughs> this is wild. Auto docking sequence withheld. Override. Oh my god, I don't oh don't make it unusable and then everything up. Oh, oh my god, I'm stressed. Is he locked on yet? 
imperfectly. This is gonna be bad. Why is it gonna be bad? Why is it gonna be bad? I don't know what he said to you, but I am taking command of the endurance. Listen to me. This is not about my life. This is about all mankind. There is a moment. It is nuts. Cooper, what are you doing? Docking. Oh my it's god. No. It's necessary. Hey, you ready? Ready. Lined up. Initiating spin. Oof, I like passing out because of the G-force. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank God. They are locked. Oh, okay, we're out of orbit. Wow, that was insane. <laughs> okay. Hey, for our next chick. <laughs> we don't have enough life support to make it back to Earth, but I think we can scratch our way to Edmund's planet. Gargantua. Pull us down close to the horizon, and a powered slingshot around, launching us towards Edmund's planet. Manually? That's what I'm here for. Oh, this is, this is such high stakes. Well, neither one of us have time to worry about relativity right now, Dr. Brand. Yeah. Yeah. This is like an incredible like, plan. Why does TARS have to detach? Oh, well, we have to shed the weight to escape the gravity. That's insane looking. Oh, it's almost making me sick. Hope it works. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, this is insane. Oh my god. Oh. The touch. Goodbye, Tosh. Goodbye, Dr. Brink. See you on the other side, Coop. See you there, Slick! Prepare to detach. What? No! No! Cooper! Newton's third law. They gotta leave something behind. Oh. You told me we had enough resources for both of us. We agree to a 90%. Oh my god. Oh. I'm nosing down. To go through it. Heading towards black. Oh. It's all black. Mm. Okay. Uh, computers are going down. Gravitational pull, I'm losing control. It's stick. My last tissue, too. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no. My head hurts from like staring at this right now. What? Oh. Oh. Did I go through to a different dimension? What? This is wild. Oh, it's like, it's the library, it's the bookstore. I mean, in the bedroom. What am I saying, the bookstore? The bedroom. Did he time travel? They said they couldn't time travel backwards and only go forward. No, no! A million different... Ooh, this is crazy. Make him stay, Merv. Don't let me leave, Merv. No! 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 Ooh. <laughs> it was you. But they constructed this three-dimensional space inside their five-dimensional reality to allow you to understand it. Send, Send a message. message. Yep. Affirmative. Do you have the quantum data? Roger, I have it. 
They didn't choose me, they chose her. Well, what, Cooper? To save the world. Oh. Thank All God. This. It's one little girl's bedroom. Oh, Cooper. Love, Tars, love. It's just like Brand said. My connection with Murph, it is quantifiable. Translate the data into Morse and feed it to me. Because I gave it to her. Oof. Oof. Oh, the music's so good. <laughs> Did it work? I think it might have. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Actually really out of tissues. I don't see any other ones. <laughs> what? Actually, you are 124 years old. How did they get him? She is far too old to be transferring from another station, but when she heard that you'd been found, well, this is, uh, this is Murphy Cooper we're talking about. Yes, it is. Oh my I'm God! Sure I didn't see what's going on. It's like an exhibit. It's been hiding from me because it was good. I don't care who wrecked that there. There's no way. She did confirm just how much she loved farming. Oh, she did, did she? <laughs> oh my God! Mr. Cooper, the family's all in there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. I knew who it was. Of course, the one time I ran out of tissues is the one time I have full blown tears too. I knew you'd come back. Because my dad promised me. Oh. I'm here now, Oh. No parent should have to watch their own child die. <laughs> you go. <laughs> Brand. Oh my god. Oh my She's gosh. Out there. Setting up camp. In a strange galaxy. The delight of our new sun. Oh. Christopher Nolan. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know. I don't know if it was just like how beautifully done it was and how much they incorporated like just the parallels of love and family and um survival and things of that nature and just in but that like the way it was packaged was just absolutely amazing and that got me all up in my feels and i don't know when i'm gonna be able to get out of them <laughs> i don't think i've cried that hard since i and that many times probably since the last samurai oh my gosh that was crazy that was absolutely insane. Um, obviously, I didn't know the premise of it at all. Love space stresses me out to think about in the, in the grand scheme of things because it's just there's so much of it, and, you know. And again, like I mentioned earlier in the video, like all the space, like the UFOs and, you know, all the uh, the documentation uh, coming out about aliens and things of that nature. This is so recent. I mean, granted, I did watch something and I felt very underwhelmed. <laughs> but I think just like in the gist of that, and you know, like we're doing some really messed up stuff to the planet that we probably can't come back from. So like that, that could be our future. And I think that's like, even though it's obviously it's a movie, I mean, some of it's based in real science somewhere. So 
yeah, the love, like, I'm gonna start crying again. I gotta stop. Whew. I have not had a movie mess me up. Oh, everything, everywhere, all at once. I did. That was really messy too. Actually, that was probably the most sobby. Um, but like since that one, ah, uh, but just like the family, the daughter dad dynamic, and just like the storytelling and all that, and like kind of all of it, the already like existing abandonment issues that she was probably suffering from, like losing her mom when she was young and then to lose her dad for that many years and then to be, oh my god, and the eight, oh, that last night she said like no parent should watch their child die. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, good. I'm gonna put myself back into a sobbing rest again, so I'm gonna, yeah, it was just, it hit something in me, it hit something in me real deep. <laughs> I didn't know that I I didn't anticipate that I really didn't so ah oh, I loved it it was great to to would recommend to a friend so thank you guys so much for watching with me because I can't keep <laughs> thank you so much for watching with me and I will catch you guys on the next one see ya.